A retired Shropshire surveyor is planning to become the manager of one of Britain's largest private transport systems. Well, that's if his wife lets him cut down the tree he planted to celebrate their silver wedding. With its two and a half acres of glorious Shropshire countryside, Broomfield Villa nestles on a hillside not far from the city of Shrewsbury. In its garden, Colin Matthews grows some of the best runner beans in the area. At least he used to, before the obsession took over. An obsession with steam. The two and a half acre garden has in fact become Broomfield Garden Railway, a complete rail network dedicated to Collins' one-eighth size steam engine. His wife Mary happily joined in the obsession, setting the signals, even issuing tickets to the privileged visitor occasionally allowed in. That is, until Colin and his railway decided to come through the front garden, completely isolating the house, even demolishing the silver birch he planted for their silver wedding. Well, we need this bit, you see, to uh, make a complete circuit. And the only way we could do that... Was through the front garden? Was through the front garden, yeah. How do visitors get in? Well, while the bridge is here, they'll come over the bridge. But when we're steaming and the track's in, the bridge lifts out. And they, they can wait stop. outside? They have to wait there, yeah. <coughs> The train's taking over the, everything, isn't it? Oh, aye. Just gives us pleasure. So you do give other people rides? It's not oh, just yeah. for you? No, not just for me, no. We've had quite a few different people here at times. Go on, over the years, do you, know, do you know what it's cost you? In total, not a, not a clue, really. <laughs> I wouldn't like to think about it, you know. In fact, if you'd have bought this, you'd have been into a fortune, wouldn't you? Well, you'd never been able to afford it. The track we have to buy as scrap, well, buy the bar as scrap, and then weld it up to make the track. Yeah. But it's taken your whole life over, hasn't it? It's it has now, yeah. yeah. And great. your whole garden, and your whole house, oh, everything. Aye. Oh, aye. What do you know this thing? Well, they're all for it. They love coming around, having a ride. Uh, I think you're a bit of a nutter, but... What? It's nice. You get the smell of that steam and the cylinder oil and coal, that was coal. Oh, Wouldn't it have been easier just to be a railway man for real? I suppose it would, but there's more fun driving your own loco, isn't it? Long term, what do you actually see here? Well, we'll have a complete loop round of about 1,400 foot of track. Yeah. And then, once we've done that, we've got a station to build down the bottom there. Yeah. You know, a proper station, a yeah. signal box, all the signalling equipment. It's going to keep you going most of your lifetime, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's going to keep you going for a few years yet. Yeah. I can't, is... can't see you retiring from it for a while. In fact, as British Rail gets smaller, you're getting bigger. We're always expanding, that's it. It'll take them over. Go on, Mrs Matthews, let him cut down the tree. Right, time now.